Steve Dawson. And I'm Jeff Smith. We're here from DFG to share valuable insights and techniques to protect your organization against fraud. We'd like to focus this video on a basic but enlightening concept. One of the biggest issues with fraud is that no one expects it to happen. You believe in and trust your employees. That trust begins to eliminate your belief in the need for internal controls or anti-fraud measures. If you have trustworthy people, you shouldn't have fraud, right? Most are shocked when they discover that someone they work closely with is committing fraud. Here's what we want people to understand about people. In ethics, you have the 10-80-10 rule. 10% 10 of people will never steal, no question, no matter the circumstance. 10% of people will steal whenever they see an opportunity. And the remaining 80% will steal depending on the circumstance. Desperate need allows desperate actions. So we're looking at 90% of people that have the potential to commit fraud under the right circumstances. What are those circumstances? What creates a situation where someone would commit fraud? Let us introduce you to the fraud triangle. The fraud triangle has three legs, perceived unshareable need, opportunity, and rationalization. When people begin to feel financial stress, significant need for money or resources, they experience pressure. The word pressure is excellent because pressure builds. The longer someone feels stress and isolation about money, the more likely that pressure will manifest into doing something unethical and even illegal. So someone is experiencing great need and pressure. As they go about their job, they begin to notice opportunity. They see that no accountability exists around cash coming in and out, and it would be completely unnoticed if they took some. They realize no one is verifying vendor status, so they could easily create a shell company and receive payments undetected. They understand expense reimbursement has virtually no oversight, so they design fictitious receipts to be reimbursed for. Suddenly, they see a solution to their stress and pressure. Which brings us to the third leg, rationalization. Let's simplify this term. Rationalization is the ability we all have to convince ourselves that what we're doing is not wrong. People do this in so many ways with fraud. They feel the pressure, they see the opportunity, and they justify by saying, I will pay this back when I get back on my feet, or it is such a small amount to this company, no one will suffer, or I deserve more than I am paid, so this belongs to me anyway. There is just no end to the way we justify our actions. We hope this triangle shows you two things. One, a more compassionate look at a fraudster. While not condoning theft in any way, we hope you can sympathize with a person who feels so trapped, scared, or victimized that they can justify stealing. And two, with this compassionate understanding, we hope you realize how easily it could happen in your organization with almost anyone in your workforce. Trust? Sure but create an anti-fraud program and environment of protection and accountability. It benefits everyone involved. How do you do this? How do you disassemble the fraud triangle? Let's briefly look at something much more primitive, fire. Fire is powerful. Just like fraud, there are three elements that must exist for fire to thrive. The fire triangle's three legs, oxygen, heat, and fuel. If you have sparks and dry grass, it burns very quickly but smother it, remove its oxygen source, and the fire stops. You can have all the oxygen you need and loads of friction with rubbing sticks together, but with no tinder or fuel source, a fire cannot start. We walk around all day through tons of oxygen and fire fuel, but without heat or an ignition source, fires cannot just begin at random around us. Take away a leg of the fire triangle and you cannot have fire, or you can stop an active fire very quickly. We apply the same concept to the fraud triangle. Remove one leg, and internal fraud is at best impossible, and at worst, quickly detected with minimal loss. A strong anti-fraud program is designed with this focus in mind. How do you minimize or eliminate the opportunities to commit fraud with strong procedures and controls? How do you create a culture that makes rationalizing theft more difficult? A robust program even addresses how your organization tackles stress or need your employees may encounter. Every organization needs an anti-fraud program. Not because the world is full of evil, scheming thieves trying to destroy others, but because this fraud triangle can exist in anyone's life. Anti-fraud programs protect the organization 
and its employees. When compared to the amount of loss your organization can suffer from an internal fraud, these controls are simple, effective ways you can protect your organization. To set the proper tone for your company in its fight against fraud, begin by showing this video to your organization. Immediately raise awareness that your organization takes internal fraud seriously and it wants to protect itself. Also communicate your awareness of potential stress and need and how that affects the potential for fraud in everyone. For further guidance on navigating the fraud triangle, visit our website and contact us with questions. If you enjoyed this content or think your organization would benefit from continued strategies and policies focused on preventing and deterring internal fraud, please click like and subscribe. If there's a topic you would like us to address, please leave a comment or contact us through our website.